Welcome to Burris Logistics Speedboat Retrospective Game. This is a game that's been used quite a bit. Um, it was invented long before we started Agile, but we wanted to share with you how we do it. We created a board. We have a speedboat, and that's the team is the speedboat. And then we have gas. This is the stuff that really moves us forward, gets us going, really makes us successful, makes us agile. Anchors are what's holding us back. And wind, if it's a tailwind, can move us ahead slightly. Or if it's a headwind, can cause drag on us moving forward. How it works is, at the retrospective, each team member, one at a time, comes up to the board and places a gas can, an anchor, a headwind or a tailwind next to the boat. And then they explain what about the sprint they are describing and why they thought it was a gas, an anchor, a headwind or tailwind. Having the field trip to the warehouse really helped the team understand our users and what they need. I felt like that that was a gas can that really moved us forward on this sprint. Not drilling far enough down on our first user story caused us to run into complexities we didn't plan for. At sprint planning, we didn't take the time to really drill down into that story, and it really held us back. Having the mandatory half-day training event gave us a headwind, and we struggled to keep pace. We didn't plan for this. We didn't look at that when we planned out the sprint. Or having the cappuccino machine in the afternoon uh, and having an afternoon coffee gave us a, the tailwind we needed to keep us going forward. And then you, you repeat this. Each team member keeps going up to the board as long as they have something else to say or they felt like something about the sprint still needs to be discussed. You keep doing this until there's nothing left to say. That was the inspection part. We looked back, we inspected what we were doing, now it's time to adapt. Then we go to the board and we look at our speedboat. What do we want to keep doing or to start doing and what do we want to stop doing or do less of? And so the team will discuss this and they'll put this in there and this is part of our uh, preparation for our next sprint. What are we going to keep doing? What are we going to stop doing? What are we going to start doing? What are we going to do less of? And if there's something that we want to start doing that we haven't done, we'll actually put it in our backlog. We'll have an agile improvement story of how we want to improve going into our next sprint. So it's right on our backlog. It's radiated that everybody can see. We don't um, assign story points to it because it doesn't bring value, but we will have it in our backlog. 